Now that you've got your new semi press, this is what they look like. The new version comes with a stainless steel table, your semi press, and your control box. Your stainless steel table will come unassembled, comes with an Allen wrench to be able to put the four screws in each of the table parts, and you'll put this together if you'd like. Comes with a black Allen wrench, just like this one, be attached to it. These are to control your, to tighten all your screws. First thing you want to do is undo your wires. As you take your wires off, you will notice the wires have labels on them. That is wire A. On your control box, plug that into A. On your other side, you will have two wires. We just take these off. Same thing as before. Each of your wires are labeled. That one says C. I'm going to plug it into C. And this one is B, and I will plug it into B. Once you've done that, next thing you want to do is loosen up your four screws on each side. You don't need to take them out. All you're doing is just breaking them loose. They're not real tight when we ship it. So you just make sure that the four screw black screws on each side are loosened up. Once you get these four screws loosened up, you're going to attach your air. You need to make sure your air compressor is set at about 60 PSI. Right here is your air hose. You're literally just gonna plug your air in. Then, right here on the actuator, how you know there's two hoses that come out of the bottom of the rod. There's a little blue button right here. If you push your blue button in, you need to have your Allen wrench handy. Push your blue button in and let it rise all the way up till it stops. Tighten one screw on each side is all you have to do while holding the blue button. Once you've tightened the two screws, you can let off the blue button and then just go back, make sure that you tighten all your screws. Make sure they're really tight. I am not cranking these down, but you wanna make sure these are as tight as you can get them without breaking them. Once you have your screws tight, you want to test. What you want to do is your blue button on that same actuator where the hoses come out of the tube, you want to push and make sure it goes all the way into the mold correctly. Now that you've done that, your next thing is to plug in power. You're going to plug your power into your power cord, and you're going to turn the power switch on the back of the control box. Now you're ready to go. Make sure to remove the, car, the paper filling out of the holes that are protecting the molds. But I'm going to leave it in here for this purpose. You will push the safety button down and hit the start button. I do not recommend dry running this if you don't know what you're doing. Make sure you have mix in your mold. But hit your start button. It will come down and press. And then it will extract. Hit your reset button and we'll go back down. That is your setup process. I'm going to unhook the gear so it quits running. Now, your mold plate is interchangeable. If you change your mold plate, take off the four wing nuts on all of, on the top and your entire top mold plate will come off there is two screws on the front and also on the back you take these four screws out underneath you will see two hoses one for the bottom one for the top that is your extractor make sure your air is unhooked when you do it your entire mold plate will lift out and you can drop a new mold plate in. Other than that, that's the new semi-auto press, how it comes to you when we ship it. Let me know if you have any questions.